Are you ready for some more trees? I'm back again with my series of 12 days of Christmas trees, and we're gonna do three more today. So let's get started. So tree number three, we are going to build on this beautiful red from the shades of, oh, before I forget, I wanna show you this cute little idea. These are on the December deals for $5. Great stocking stuffer idea. Fill these with gift cards to, you know, wherever. Maybe a little bit of money, some $2 bills, whatever. Such a cute little stocking stuffer idea. $5 on the December deals. Normally seven, so get them. They come in green, red, and purple. All right, we're gonna build on this, but first we're gonna cut some rings out of this with ovals. And I think I'm trying to save paper, like always, but I think this is the smallest I can go. I might be able to get a couple out of this size. So let's see what we can do here. So we're just gonna cut a bunch of rings and this is the custom cutting system with the ovals. I'm using the blue blade first. It's farthest from the shape. And then without moving my shape, I'm gonna use the green blade. And this will just make some cute little rings. And you can make these as, you can make them bigger if you want. If you wanna do red ones and not, and just skip the green, you'll have a bigger ring. I'm gonna do all three. So this is the closest to the shape. Again, I didn't move my shape, so I should have two perfect rings. When I'm done here, so there's one, and I didn't get it all the way cut. There we go. And here's another, oh, that two, okay. So then I might cut some with this, because we're gonna go up, right? So let's see how far, I might get one out of this. So we're gonna do green first, because I don't think it's big enough to do blue, and then we'll do red without moving the shape. And this is the smallest oval that comes in it, in the kit. I like that. Let's do a couple out of this color. I wonder if we could get, yes, I think we can. So I'm gonna do two, maybe. Green and then red. Uh, if you've owned the custom cutting system as long as I have, you might want to think about getting some new blades. And then we can even go to this shape. And this way we wanna go backwards. So we wanna do, well, the same, I guess. Blue, then red, then green, then red. Blue. And we're just going from far away from of the shape, closest to the shape. Oops, this one did not turn out well at all. Get this piece out of my way. These are a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy peasy. Make sure I'm back where I'm supposed to be because I accidentally moved my shape. And then let's cut a couple out of this one. So as you can see, I didn't use a whole lot of paper. We need to get that out of the way. 
So just take your time. Don't get frustrated with these guys. And you can always cover up any mistakes, like right there. We'll just trim that off. Perfect. Okay, so then we have a couple more rings. Let's see, we need, we need some out of this paper. Let's see if I have any left. We are using a few pieces from yesterday's class. I'm gonna use this. I don't think I can get any more out of that. I think this is trash. So we'll do a few out of this bigger shape in a darker color. So again, we're gonna start furthest away. And then get closer. And just make sure both little prongs are in the track. The custom cutting system has rectangles, circles. We have a jumbo circle. And then occasionally they come out with really fun other things. I think we have enough. So here's my paper we're gonna build on again. I'm going to get my repositionable out because that will be easiest. <clears throat> and I like to use sticker backer with it. And we're going to put these in some sort of order of their size. Hopefully, we will make a beautiful tree. I'm trying to see which one is biggest. Okay, these are the bigger ones. Oh, nope. These are the bigger ones. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna put a little, actually I'm gonna use my glue pen. Precision point adhesive. I think that would be best. Don't need a whole lot. And we're just gonna start building a little tree shape. Out of our rings. And you can put them as close together or however you would like. My fingers are sticky. There we go. And then we'll just go up to the next size. Sometimes I feel like the repositionable, I waste a lot. So I like the precision point, then I don't feel like I'm wasting as much. This is gonna be so cute. So tell me if you guys have taken advantage of any of the deals on the December deals. I missed out on a few things I really wanted. Sometimes it takes a minute for that glue to get tacky. And if you get glue on your fingers, then you have a problem because you get sticky. We're just going to keep going up here. Oh, that's a different color. Okay, got a few more. So I would love to see your versions of this. If you're watching on Facebook, show me. And we'll see what we need some more shapes probably. So maybe we needed a few more rings. 
Or maybe we put a wreath there or something. I do have. And we probably needed some little bitty itty ones for the top, huh? We could totally make. This also reminds me of a slinky. Oh, wrong side. Make sure you put the adhesive on the right side of your paper. It's gonna be a little sticky. Perfect. Then of course our tree needs a star and don't forget about the piece by piece trio that's on December deals. That's a cute tree. One more thing I'm gonna add. I think I'm gonna add this to the middle. What do y'all think? I don't know. I think it looks good. Now we need some photo mats. And I guess we could use up this. Since we already started with it. Again, four by six, you save paper. And then you just trim your photos a bit. And four by four is also a great option. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay, there's tree number three. Super cute. Tree number four is, we're going to cut a triangle out of this. So I'm just gonna get a six inch piece and we're gonna use our ovals again. And we're gonna mark at three inches. We did this yesterday, making a perfect Christmas tree triangle. So we're lining up our three inch mark on the cut line with the bottom corners. And do it one more time on the opposite corner. Perfect Christmas tree triangle. These could be used for another Christmas tree for sure. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it with an oval pattern, and I think this one would be good. And we're just gonna randomly, I'm gonna use the red blade. We're just gonna randomly cut it.
Don't freak out. It's okay. And we'll just put it right here back together. Do you see what we're doing here? It's gonna be so cute. It's like building a puzzle. And I think one more. And this is gonna be different for everybody too. Okay, so then we're done with those. We're gonna take a base, something to build on, right? And we're just gonna put this tree back together, but we're gonna space it apart. So make sure when you cut it that you lay it back over here the way it goes or you really will be putting a puzzle together. I'm trying to figure out what you did. <laughs> and just space it apart. Whoa, tape runner got out of control there. Then we're gonna cut this out and put it on another base page. That doesn't look straight in there. Perfect. I love the lights from Seasonal Sightings. This paper is from Shades Of. Remember, you can't get it after the first of the year. And it's free right now if you buy the bundle. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this to save myself some headache. And then I'm just gonna guess, basically. And you can always use these little clear things on either side of your blade to see where you're gonna cut. And I don't like that. Glad I looked. I see now that I'm a little crooked. I think it'll be okay. Again, get your little white piece out. They're on either side of your blade housing. This side looks a little more even. And there you go, there's a tree. But I feel like it needs to cut some more. And I just might have to move pieces over. So we'll just scooch them in a little so that there's a good mat on my tree. There we go. Perfect. Here's some more trees. And then I want to put this guy on here. This is another piece of the shades of. And I have some
Ooh, we have this oval we could use that we already used up. We can get a four by six out of this easily. So I'm just using up my scraps. Maybe that could be a title block. Once you get pictures, it'll look totally different, of course. I don't think I really like that. What I really need is some of the map pack to make some titles. Or I could get some more embellishments out. But there's tree number four. And finally for today is tree number five. And guess what? We're gonna use some leftover from yesterday. So this guy, if you remember him, he's gonna go right here. And then we have all these pieces. Look, we even could use these. Maybe in front. But I want to make a regular triangle out of it. So let's see. This is two inches. So I'm going to mark it at one. And do the same thing. With the little tree. We're good at this by now. We need some bigger trees. So this is this two inches as well? It is. So let's see, how tall is this one? Three and a half. Let's make it five. I just measured half, made a pencil mark. This is gonna be a tall, skinny tree. You see where I'm going with this? I kinda wanna make this more of a real triangle. Any math whizzes out there that could tell me how to do that? Because I do want to use my pieces up. Ooh, I know. You got to line it up on this 45, I bet. So line it up on the 45. Line this up on your cut mark, and that should make a good triangle, shouldn't it? That's not a terrible triangle. And we use some of that up. How about this one? I kind of want a bigger triangle too. I'm just going to wing this. Look at that. Okay, so we just have a bunch of triangles. We're gonna stack them all together and that's gonna be tree number three, four, five. Tree number five. So I wanna put this guy in the back. And we just used up scraps from all the other trees. I love it. Go this way with it. And I really love this one with the lights. But 
There's our trees. And look, I have a few stickers left. <clears throat> I love this one with all the trees. So I'm going to put it at the bottom. <clears throat> I also really love this that I used from a previous layout and I just tore it, but that's okay because we're going to tear it anyways. I probably should have done this before. Let's see how good I am. Not terrible. Not terrible. But you could do that before you glued it down and then it would be a little easier. <clears throat> So cute. I just have a little piece left. There. Love it. And I'm not even going to put any photo mats on that one. I think it's just ready for pictures. So there's tree number five. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you've enjoyed taking a little sneak peek of some of my Christmas decor. I don't have a whole lot, but I do love what I have. Um, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, hit that little bell so you know uh, when I have a new video up. Stay tuned for more trees next week. Uh, head over to my Facebook page to see my schedule of events. And if you don't already have an advisor, pick me. And uh, don't forget about that cute stocking stuffer idea <clears throat> and the free paper that's going away. So get your bundles today. Thanks for watching.